All right, guys, let's get into it. This is the Anxiety and Depression Podcast, and we are back with another episode. And today we are talking all about Wim Hof and what that is, who he is, and how he can greatly benefit your life. So this guy, Wim Hof, um, he is a guy that has broken 26 world records. He has changed the way science views what the body can do and how far we can push ourselves to the limit. Um, You know, a lot of people ask, like, when they hear about this method and they hear how simple but very, very particular about how the method works, um, they're surprised because, I mean, I was surprised too. And after seeing a ton of other videos of people who have tried it, And hearing other stories of of friends who have tried it, family members who have tried it, their experiences, they were surprised too of once you can get the hang of it, which only takes a couple minutes to learn, it it will change your life. And I am in day four so far of doing this Wim Hof method every single day uh, for 30 days is is what I'm going to do. And more than likely, I'll probably stick to it judging by how these first four days have went. Um, you know, there's something about this method that makes everything that you do for the rest of the day feel so good and you feel energized and you feel euphoric and happy. And the best way I could put it is just content. You feel content. You feel secure and grounded with who you are and, and it, it just, it works and you just got to try it for yourself. Um, so yeah, a lot of people ask, and what I asked a couple days ago was, how do you do it? How do you get into something that's going to benefit my life this much? I want to get into it. How do we do it? Um, This is directly from the Wim Hof website, and you guys can check it out. It's, you know, if you type in Wim Hof on Google, you'll you'll see the Wim Hof website come up first thing, and uh, there's a page on, like, how, how to do the breathing exercises, and what it is, is, is very simple. You do 25, and at this point, you're, you're laying on the ground uh, with a lot of space around you. You know, I, I wouldn't recommend doing it on a bed with pillows. I would just recommend a flat, hard surface that you can lay down on and spread your legs and your arms out and just make sure you have a ton of room. And basically, you do 30 um, deep breaths, starting from getting air in your stomach and moving up towards your chest and then letting go slowly out through your mouth. And once you do that 30 times, on the 30th breath, you're going to inhale, hold for 10 seconds, and then let go all of your air. And then you're just going to not take in the next uh, inhale, and you're going to hold it for as long as you can. So the 30th breath, you are going to exhale out all your air and hold it for as long as you can. And that is one round of the Wim Hof method in the breathing. You're going to do three rounds of this or as many as you need in order to feel comfortable. And, and trust me, when I say feel comfortable, you will feel tingliness in your, in your fingers. You will feel um, sort of just l- not lightheaded because that's the wrong word, but very um, calm and very relaxed. Then you um, immediately get up from that and go into doing something that shocks your body as far as temperature-wise. So you go into something very, very cold. Um, Honestly, most people only have showers. If you are blessed with a a pool, you can go in in the mornings when it's uh, colder than usual. If you are out of state, you live in snow, you can just straight up go in the snow outside and that will do the trick. But for me, living in California, I got to use either a cold shower or a cold pool in the morning, and, and that usually, you know, jump starts my body and, and gets me feeling energized and good uh, to handle the rest of the day, basically. So the one thing I want to tell you, though, if you are going into the snow or the cold, I would, well, not me, but... Wim Hof recommends that you should go into the cold gradually. You should stay in. uh, The duration that you're in the cold should gradually increase the more you do it. But don't just start off doing 25 minutes in the snow. You're going to get hurt. And 
you know, something bad could happen. So start off small, start off 30 seconds the first week and then move to a minute and then two minutes and then two and a half minutes. And then you just gradually go up, but don't increase everything all in one day because you think you're Superman. That's not going to work and you're really going to get hurt. So, uh, yeah, I've been trying it with showers and, uh, the pool in the morning. So that's been, that's been pretty good for me. But I think what I want to do is actually get like an a couple bags of ice and try a full on ice bath for 10 minutes and really see the effect of like a very, very, very cold uh, Wim Hof method to its fullest effect and, and see, you know, how much different that is than just a cold shower where the water is probably 40 degrees or so when you turn it on. Um, I want this to get real cold and, and see and test how, I, how much I can push my body Um, but I think it's going to be a good experiment. I will post another podcast about my end of my 30 days that I do, uh, you know, on August, uh, September 8th. Okay. September 8th, I will post a podcast on how these 30 days have gone and what I liked, what I didn't like and what I would do different for next time and what I'm going to continue to keep doing possibly for the rest of my life if I like it. Um, but other than that, yeah, I recommend that you guys try it. It's called the Wim Hof method. You can look it up. You can go to his website. So yeah, I just, I wanted to give you guys a insight onto who Wim Hof is just so that you can get introduced to this guy. And I'm sure that if what I talked about today, uh, piqued your interest, I'm sure you'll go look him up. You'll find out, uh, more detail about this method, about the science behind it. Uh, who he is and who he's trained with uh, over the years to help, you know, he's worked with movie stars, athletes, um, people who are sick, and it's just, he's worked with a variety of people, and and hearing their stories and what they have to say about it is really remarkable, so um, yeah, I just encourage you guys, look him up, try it for yourselves, don't just take my word for it, so uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next month with the second version of this episode.